Hey everybody, Todd from the Bueller Bunch. Um, today um, we're gonna put on a cover on our RV. It's controversial, some people say we don't do it. We're gonna do it. Um, we have our trailer parked in a place that gets a lot of dirt and a lot of dust. It's not just from the rain. So we feel that uh, our protection for our trailer is needed with one of these. So come along with us and we'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so this is our cover we got on Black Friday, and uh, it just arrived. You know, Amazon's constantly saying, uh, hey, it'll be here tomorrow. It won't be here tomorrow. It'll be here the next day. It won't be here the next day. You know, it's Christmas time, we expect delays. But today, we're gonna stick this on, and I'm gonna do it all by myself. I'm not gonna have any help. Kristen is working today, so she can't help. And a lot of the family that I sometimes rely on to help me out with some of the projects they're all busy too but we've got to beat this weather we have a weather front moving in and this is the perfect time to get this on and protect our investment of our trailer and that's what we're thinking is you know even if it keeps the rain off it's going to definitely keep the dirt off so um, I'm tired of washing it all the darn time because again we house our trailer on a horse ranch an active horse boarding ranch so it's literally right next to an arena where the horses work out so they're constantly kicking up dirt it's not ideal. We don't have a storage uh, facility uh, nearby, but uh, we could. And it's just a, a cost that we, you know, we have family with a big piece of property. And, and until this uh, opportunity uh, ceases to exist, we'll keep our trailer here. Um, they also have a trailer and that sometimes you'll see that trailer is kind of parked next to ours a lot in our videos. So um, let's get this thing kicked off. There's a storm coming And I need a hand to hold With the fear of being here on my own With the winds blowing And the leaves they turn to gold Like they did with you those summers ago You know, one of the things that they warned me about right off the bat, um, installation is best done by two people. Um, and uh, most RVs require working from the roof. And never install on a windy day. Guess what we got? Windy day. Well, we really can't help it. Um, like I said, we have a storm front moving in and uh, they're expecting rain by this evening and then a uh, very heavy rain this week. So this is gonna be a good test for this cover. So uh, I guess reading the instructions and the warnings, these are warnings, um, they're not a must. Let's get this thing started. So uh, again, I'm not supposed to do this in the wind. There's a slight breeze. And I'm not supposed to do this by myself. Sorry, I gotta do it by myself. So let's get going and let's get this thing aired out. Now, even though our ladder on the back is probably will work, not a problem. Um, but I'm a big heavy guy. I think the ladder on the back is rated for about 300 pounds. Um, you know, I'm a little north of the 250 range. I I'm working on it, I'm working on it. When uh, you're talking, I'm gonna be hefting some materials up there, um, I'm adding to the weight. So, and then that ladder is straight up and down. So that's a, that is a concern to me. Um, it's a little awkward. So. I got one of these. I got these extend this extendable ladder. This thing is great. This thing's weighted for like or rated for like 350 pounds. 
This thing has been great. I've used it around our house. I've used it around our trailer. It's extremely convenient. And look, it's not that heavy. It's probably around 40 pounds or so, um, but it works so well. I would invest into one of these anytime. I love this ladder. If you've got a ladder attached to the back of your RV, that means your roof is walkable. Now, they did have a ladder shortage for a while, but if you don't have a ladder or it's not ladder capable, then you probably don't have a walkable roof. This ladder, I've tested it. It's pretty stable. However, I'm just not really confident in its abilities. The first step here is almost waist high. And I really don't trust these steps from bending if I put my weight in the middle of these steps. And that's an awful long travel for me to take my first step. And I'd rather be a little safer, so that's why I'm going to use our extendable ladder in conjunction with this, and you'll see how. You know, this ladder is, is just super convenient. You just unbuckle it and start lifting it up. Step on the bottom just to make sure. I mean, and it's sturdy. I've used this, like I said, a million times already around our house. So what I'm gonna do is hook this one on top of that one. It's already got the handles built in. I'm not leaning it up against the trailer. I'm leaning it up against the ladder. And it will act a little bit better for me. And it's also at an angle it's not straight up and down, so I don't have to worry about, you know, being off center or, you know, hurting my back. Confession time. I've never been on the roof of our RV before. And our, I already see the issues. Our roof has a big arch on it. And I already see that I better be walking in the center of that arch because the edge of this really tips off. I don't want to fall off this thing. So, uh, you know, it'd probably be an even better idea to maybe even wrap a bungee cord around here so that this ladder stays on top of this ladder. So let's try it. Okay, I'm getting up there. I've been monitoring our roof pretty well, but all the seals look really well. Um, the only thing that kind of is a little nasty looking, I guess, is around the air conditioning unit. Um, it's gotten a little uh, mossy. And that's typical ranch stuff. Well, I, you know, I read the instructions um, and it says to un you know, furl it on the outside and kind of drag it up. But I'm seeing a potential for it to tear when you're dragging it up, especially by myself. If I had another person, they could probably heft it and kind of work it around the little sharp objects. I'm thinking by myself, what I'm gonna do is heft this thing up on the roof, unroll it because it's all compact right now. Unroll it on the roof, throw it down, throw it down, throw it down, and that may work better for me. All right. Look at that, it worked. Well, here it goes, first time on the roof. Oh, that's kind of scary. All right, let's give myself some room. All righty. Okay. Like I said, this ladder works so good. <laughs> I'm up on the roof. Oh, this is weird. I've never been up here, so it's kind of cool. You know, I'm looking at all these, and man, this thing is sturdy up here. Uh, Keystone Cougar, you built the heck of a roof. Boy, first time on this roof. And uh, boy, I can tell you, this roof really looks good. All of the seals look good. I haven't been up here ever. And again, we have a Keystone Cougar. But man, do the seals look good. Everything looks really well sealed. And I'm uh, quite impressed with uh, how this roof is holding my weight. Um, one thing I did notice is try not to walk heel toe. Try to walk flat footed. The more flat you have, the best you're concentrating like a lot of your weight on one little section. Um, 
and I've got fairly big feet. Yeah, this is really kind of cool. Um, so what the instructions said was to unfurl this on the ground. Why? Um, I mean, I get it, but I mean, the thing's already brand new and it's compact. I would assume I could probably never get it back into this state again, but I could probably come close enough to at least uh, put it in the bag, heft it up the ladder like I did. So uh, let's unfurl it up here and then we just throw it down on the sides and call it a day. The covers come with rain gutter things. So these slide, I get how they slide onto the gutter, but there's a Velcro strap on the back and there's really no explanation of how they will fit or what they strap over because it connects to the end of the gutter. So you get my dilemma. So what I'm gonna probably do here is the tennis ball issue. And we poke a hole in a bunch of tennis balls and we stick them on the corners. You know, one thing about these rubes is they're real thin. These knives, if you're gonna have knives in your pocket, sharp objects in your pocket when you're on the roof, get rid of them. That's the last thing you wanna do is accidentally poke a hole in your roof and then you got troubles. Unfurling it, uh, a little difficult because I didn't know it was kind of like folded on top of each other and how it was folded. That's probably what took me the most, uh, most time was to figure out what's the roof, what's the sides. So in this case, we have a, a our, the brand of cover that we have is made by Dickison. Okay, I can't. I can't explain why people call their companies certain names. Hence the Bueller Bunch name. Except I have an explanation. If you ever want to know, comment down below and I will explain it to you. But at any rate, um, the sides of this are more of a, a vinyl type material or they're different than the roof material. You can see here that the roof material uh, is a little different. So it, it was just understanding what's going on. Um, the next thing is the gutters. Uh, those little gutter guards that they gave, um, you know, they're great in theory, but they're gonna fall off putting this on. So tennis ball method and the cover just loved that because it just slid right over the top of the tennis balls. Nothing hung up on it. So it just whoosh, whoosh, easy. Um, all together to get it into this state without doing the bottom straps and stuff. But to get it to this state, it took me maybe 15 minutes by myself. And it's windy. And I did it by myself. Warning. 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 Eh, it's a warning. But uh, overall, uh, this will protect at least, from the very least, the dirt. I'm so tired of washing it every time I want to go out. But this will protect it from the dirt, some of the elements. Our roof looks fantastic. Um, and this roof is going on over a year. Oh, it's been over a year. And you saw the seals. The seals look like they're new. Um, and it's been outside, hasn't been under a cover or anything. That is literally the elements that have presented itself. So now the next thing to do is to attach the bottom straps. And you can see, I mean, it doesn't, it's probably a 15 mile an hour wind right now. And um, it's just shaking it a little bit. It's not really bad. Yeah, very pleased. You know, uh, now this cover, uh, I hunted all over, it was Black Friday, so I got a little bit of a deal, but our cover here, and I'll link it down below, our cover here we got on Amazon for about $240 out the door. Now I had a $10 coupon I found, so it was listed at $244, but um, we got it at $240 out the door with taxes and everything, so um, for the money, this thing's pretty good. This is a seven layer uh, cover, and uh, 
we shall see how it holds up over the winter and then I'll report back to you to see, well, did we had to do any repairs on it or uh, anything like that. So uh, yeah, I just got to button things up and um, we're pretty much done. Um, like I said, getting up on the roof and unfurling it that way, if you're a one person, that's the way to go, at least in my opinion. If you got two people, that's great. Then you can kind of heft it up and kind of walk it across. You could do that. You, there's, there's lots of ways. Be inventive. Um, but the big thing is to be safe, especially when you're on your roof. Now, like I said, our roof has kind of got a good arch to it, so you got to be real careful. But I'm uh, very pleased not only with the condition of our roof before the winter, but I'm also uh, liking this cover. 